We back, baby. We in here. We in here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, all. Good old H2O. Yeah, gotta get that hydration, boy. I had to work out this morning, boy. I thought it was, I thought I was out of there, D Buck. Did you do boxing? Yeah. Uh but we did like a, a Iron Man type uh workout to, uh this morning. We uh like five different exercises in there, and you know, you start at one rep and then we went all the way up to ten. Um Ooh. and then we threw some um you know little mitts, but Thought your boy was out of there, man. I thought um <laughs> I was gonna get had to get wifey to the text and be like, yo, D Bub, man, you might gotta do the show by yourself you this morning, man. By solo, my dog, full, full body crab, you on the IV right now. Hey, this man. shit got real in there, D Bub. Man, hey, man. Got to seeing stars in there and everything. Like, oh shit. Man. That hey, that baby what 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 was so I know it had to be a point at some point in your career, whether it's an off-season workout. Win a workout in college. Where, where, where was that time or multiple times using the workout? Obviously, besides this morning, you retired now. We old heads now. Yeah. But as as an active athlete, were you were you almost oh. you felt like you was about to on day oh. on deck, that upper room? It was it was it was definitely off season. I think in season workouts, you know, those kind of be just maintaining. But those off season workouts, um, definitely when. We used to have to run cut 40s. I don't even know what's and, that. Well, cut 40, well, cut 40s was <laughs> you had to run 40, 40 yards back, and you would have um a certain amount of frog jumps that you had to do in between. So you do 40 yards back, probably like 10 frog jumps, boom, 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 and then you gotta run. 40 yards and back again and you got to do them in a certain amount of time so, okay and so it's really so it's really 80. it's really 80. yeah it's 80. yeah 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 but then it's really it's 160 because you you got to do the frog jumps and then you got to do the 40 <laughs> back again and this is out az in june and it's a mm. hundred degrees mm. uh it was and this was and this was before we went in to lift weights man and yeah, I, I, I used to I used to like my running after. It, it won't know it won't no picking and choosing. <laughs> <laughs> it was no picking and choosing. Like this is what we doing. We go out there and get the condition, and then you can chill in here for about 30, 45 minutes, and then we can get this left hand. But those are the times that I'd be like, damn, like, is this really worth it? Like, do I really want to continue to put my body through this shit? That, hey, that be the time. But if you if you're not getting that point at least a couple times in the offseason, especially early on in your career, maybe you get older and maybe not so much. But I feel like you gotta you gotta get to that point, especially in college. In college, then when the workouts, oh man, I, I asked myself that question multiple times, hitting the mat drills and, and, and just doing. And man, we had to literally change the workouts to where I'm like, oh, we just got to make everything competitive. Because like, if I'm competing against somebody, if, if they doing it, I'm doing it. We now, now it's a little different. I could tap into yeah. something else when it's just me or or workout group, and we nah that nah that shit. Woo! But you um, know, and you know another thing, I think in college, and, and one thing I I realized was like those college workouts. I don't like for what because those were I think those were like the hardest workouts ever I've ever done. Yeah, for sure. I've by far. Done. Yeah. Yeah, by far. The hardest workouts I've ever done. And and we didn't know any better. And then we get to the league and like, yo, like we could do this and still be in good shape and be strong. Like, but you I'm need them though. I feel like you need them. Nah, no question. No for question. sure. Yeah, that shit, that shit built build Bill's character. Yeah. And it was nothing like being, it was nothing worse than being like that second or third group that had to go in. And you got to hear about the word. Oh man, they hey. They got us today, bro. Make sure you um, I, I just go in there, be the first one in, yeah, get that yeah. shit over with, go on about my day. But um, it, yeah, if you don't... It's, it's, it's crazy we talking about this because uh, you know, we got a uh a, a blue wire compadre, um, and he was talking about, I guess he was uh Chris Long was talking about punishment, yeah, and what were, like some of the worst punishment. I forgot who it was, but there was like the rolling, like. 
getting on your side and having to roll 200 yards. It might have been Jeff Schwartz. It might have been. been. Um, but it was interesting just seeing that conversation. How he was like, the rolls was, was cake. And I was just thinking about some of the punishment that we had to do. And I was like, that crab walk. Yeah, crab, crab walk real. 200 yards? Crab walk real. The, the rolls, I'm cool with the rolling. Yeah, I'm cool with the roll too, but a crab walk, like that's your shoulders, your, your blood, <laughs> right your head, like core, core legs, <laughs> all of that. Like by the time you get done, your knees gonna be scraped up because you're falling on your knees every, every 10 yards. Like, we had, man, we had to do, we, it was just called 6 a.m.s, and it was, yeah. you know, we had breakfast checks, so everybody had to be at breakfast between, like, you know, I think it was like, six and eight or something like that maybe seven and nine i forgot the time frame but the college was like training table you know we had to check in for breakfast and it was somebody checking in there so if you missed breakfast check if people went and missed checked your classroom you weren't in the class you know that was a 6 a.m you're late to a meeting that's a 6 a.m but anyway you get to 6 a.m and it's old memorial stadium or if it's too crazy or whatever outside we went into the basketball arena gamble, gamble pavilion yeah, and you had to just run up and down the stairs, which ain't bad just doing that. But outside, we had to do a 60 pound sandbag on the back. Man, I'm 6 a.m.s. And then when I became a captain, I had to change it because Deuce, Deuce was doing it too much. And the coaches was always out there, catch getting in trouble. So I'm like, all right, you know, it was six of us that was captains at that point three juniors, three seniors. And I'm like, shit, we take over the 6 a.m. So now, Somebody fuck up. We got to get up in the morning. We got to get up at 530 and get out there and run them too. So that, that shit changed the whole dynamic of our whole locker room. Like, no, like it was all self-policing. Coaches ain't have to worry about none of that shit no more. But them 6 a.m.s, that really? rolling, I could do that. Crab, I'll take that the crab walking up downs. I take most of the bear crawl. I mean, bear crawl. They said my credit, the bear crawl, not the crab, but bear crawl. I think we used to call it crowd walking too, though. But bear, yeah. bear crawls, bear, bear crawls. Them, them cut forties though. That shit sound crazy too. Them cow forties is real. I um, <laughs> I caught myself doing that shit uh, last year at the uh, by myself. I did one of them shits like, man, who am I fooling, man? <laughs> my <laughs> door, man. <laughs> you, like you said, at college, at college is building character. You know, you need to push yourself to that point to where all right, I know I'm good and break it. And you gotta have somebody with you too. Oh, I'm at Tavon in the offseason stuff. Like we 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 you know, hey, what time we working out today? Because we had to be there today. Cause some days I ain't gonna have it. And I yeah. need somebody to get me over, you know, get me over the top and vice versa. So hey man, if you're out there, if you're on a fitness journey, get your buddy, man. The but the buddy system is undefeated, and that's that's why my ass can't. Stay consistent right now, man. I ain't got a buddy right now. And and I'm getting better. I am getting better. Take that thing one at a, one day at a time, man. One day at a time. One day at a time.